Welcome back, and we're looking at BattleBox 74, April, April, Mission Brief, Adventure Delivered. What's BattleBox? Well, BattleBox is a monthly subscription-based box of survival, camping, gun enthusiasts, happiness. Uh, there's uh, four different tiers. Uh, you can sign up for the basic box for $29.99. You can sign up for the advanced box for $59.99. You could sign up for the pro box for $109.99, or you can go for the gold and get the pro plus box, and you will pay $159.99. And it goes something like this. It sends you out the nice little uh, briefing card. And let's go down the line. Start with the basic box. This month you will get the the Neustat hemostatic pad. Now I I I like to goof off with the stuff, but something like this, if I open it, it's no longer sterile and I'm committed. Uh, if you have like a really bad injury, I mean, and you want to you want to stop it, uh, this. Uh, this sterilization pad is what you want uh, for uh, re for re just stopping really bad bleeding. Now, uh, if you were to just to go buy this, it's twenty five ninety five just for this. So that's first thing in the basic box. The box was actually very very small this month. I mean, physically, as far as the physical size of the box. It was like, uh, and, and let me quote my friend Matt when he saw it. He goes, wow, that's a small box. You've had single items that wouldn't even fit in there. Yeah, I know. But the items this month uh, may not be large, but they are fairly pricey, like this guy. The next in the basic box is the, where is it here? The MicroMend Skin Closure Device. Uh... The best way is just to quickly show you. And I also didn't open this because uh, I'd, I'd open it. And I'd be committed to uh, using them. Uh, if you have uh, some kind of a laceration or a cut, uh, you basically stick it on one side, peel it over to the other side, and it uh, pulls uh, pulls the wound uh, shut for you. Just more good things to go in your uh, your med kits. Uh, thanks to BattleBox and uh, my friend, uh, the ATF sucks. That's his channel. It's also a real life thing. Uh, my med kit is pretty impressive, uh, right? And, and it builds monthly. So that has a uh, price of twenty one dollars and ninety five cents for that. And there's uh, there's two of them in this in this kit. Next in the basic box is the Rip Pack Toothpaste 15 Pack. Or in this case, right now, it's the 14 Pack because uh, I, I tried it. Uh, so, it's basically uh, open it, swish it around in your mouth for 60 seconds, and spit it out. And it uh, is like it's like brushing your teeth and uh, killing bad breath and all of the above. In here is was a total of 15 of these. It actually uh, smelt, smells and tastes uh, uh, decent. I mean, it smells actually really good. It's a vanilla mint. And you just, like I said, powder, act, powder activates without water. Just what you already have in your mouth. You wouldn't want to take a big gulp of anything. Uh, it worked. My uh, teeth felt clean and uh, I was unable to uh, knock a buzzard off a turd wagon. Okay, and that uh, right there would be uh, $14.99, so they basically work out to uh, a, a dollar a dollar a piece. And the last item in the basic uh, pack this month is the uh, Revrix from Gear Aid Dura, uh, Durable Water Repellent. So if you have uh, uh, something you want to uh, spray on, maybe a, a jacket or uh, an enclosure or the, uh, the, the fly for your uh, tent or something, you can spray it down with this. So treat jackets and tents. 
I've uh, I've actually never used anything like this for a jacket. I do have a pro have purchased a product similar to something like this for uh, for boots. Uh, repels uh, water, oil, stains, and dirt. Uh, protect rain gear, tents, packs, waders, all season long. Silicone free. Waterproof and breathable. And uh, that is seventeen dollars and thirty cents. So overall, uh, for your uh, uh, thirty dollar investment, uh, you did actually get uh, a, a lot of good stuff. And me, I'll, I always uh, what usually is my demise uh, to uh, sponsorship is my uh, uh, endless, uh, endless uh, honesty. I. Uh, I know what it's like to have uh, some uh, fool on uh, YouTube tell you something is is really great, and it turns out that it's not. Uh, I base what I like in these uh, these battle boxes on can I use it, and so far everything in, in the basic box uh, has a has a use, and most of all this stuff is going in my uh my my bug out my bug out bag which is uh uh getting to the point where it's going to become two of them soon my med kit is in there and everything that i i mean it may need to make it for uh 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 me and the wife for a couple of days if the world turns upside down now let's go to the advanced box and if you are new to my channel or new to battle box uh, by going to the advanced box you will get everything that you see in the basic box plus whatever's in the advanced box and this month there was just one item exotax uh fire starter and again uh, it's open because i uh have tried it and and uh, uh of the fire starters uh uh, you know the ferrule rod and striker i really like the design of this now uh, in the picture uh they oh sorry in this picture they actually show that they have the the little piece of uh a little piece of uh, paracord which is also uh the burnable uh type i mean it burns anyway but this one looks like it doesn't say anything on there but it looks like it has the uh, uh the fire cord uh, down the center of it and how it works and everything's all in one nice uh anodized uh, aluminum you uh Open it up to expose the uh, the ferrule rod. Take the striker off the end, and now you put it back together, and you have a, a holder uh, for the ferrule rod. And also, if you do if you do uh, uh, plan on maybe even looking for this, maybe you don't get this box, but you think this is really cool, which I do like, and you decide to get this uh, when the the piece of cord is just uh wrapped up inside there and it's being held together with what what at first i thought was just like a little rubber band or something but it's actually they supply you and i don't know exactly where i'm going to put this that i don't lose it it's an actual extra o-ring uh there's an o-ring on this piece right here and there's an o-ring right here and that one is the the o-ring so you might want to you might want to hang on to it because you will uh if something happens to this o-ring you have a replacement okay so just like typical let's let's see what i let's see what i can start on fire now uh just have it at like a 45 degree angle oops So there you go. They say that you can get uh, over 3,000 uh, strikes. Uh, I noticed at first you need to get that layer off there and it, uh, it'll, it'll work a little bit better. But once you get the hang of it, it works pretty good. And um, you can actually unscrew the ferrule rod and uh, order a replacement once you do use it up and I thought I thought that was uh, pretty cool 
and then when you're uh, when you're all done put it all back together and you are good to go and that that would be the advanced box now you would step up to the pro level box so you're gonna get everything that you've seen up to this point in time plus this month is one additional item and it's the uh, Dango uh, wallet their A10 adapt this is actually the uh, the second of the uh, wallets uh, I've I've had from them and I, I thought they were the same but they are significantly different uh, this one is the uh, the newest of their styles and it definitely has some cool features having said that it also has some limitations and uh, uh, even though I think it's very cool something like this something like this just wouldn't work for me um, it it may may work depending on your situation uh, there's there's all sorts of uh, extra stuff you can go to uh, you can go to their site and of course uh, if you do go to their site and you uh, wish to uh, uh, get any kind of a discount you can use uh, that code Uh, so yeah, you can go to their website if you want to customize this. There's there's different uh, there's different accessories that they have for it. Uh, it comes uh, it comes with uh, with basically just its frame and uh, a lanyard which you can uh, put put in one of these areas. I would think that more than likely you'd use something right here. Uh, it'll hold four credit cards right there. And they do have uh, like these little little spring-loaded locking tabs. You can uh, see them better on the uh, the top one. And the and the top is designed for one. Like uh, maybe you have uh, uh, an identification or something that you that you would you would have at work. You can put the one in, and it stays like that. So it's it's out on the uh, out on the surface, so that you know, maybe you even use a longer lanyard and you want something that, that you would hang around your neck so you have your identification out. You can have one, one item right here. And then four more back here. And then it has the, uh, uh, I don't want to get the initials wrong, the uh, RFID uh, blocker. So uh, if you have your credit cards uh, in this area, that would stop someone from being able to uh, scan and steal your credit cards. It's uh, aluminum, still fairly lightweight, and this is the A10 Adapt. And if you want to purchase this on your own, like you you didn't get you know Battle Box or anything, uh, these guys are these guys are uh, kind of pricey. This one is uh, 79 uh, 79.99. Again, I like the idea, but I'd have to uh, decide what I don't want to carry with me, and uh, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't work out. But I like I like the overall design. You know, it's the and the, the other downside is it doesn't offer any place that you could uh, you could store uh, uh, cash. Now, with some of the accessories, I have not gone over to their uh, their website to see they might have. Uh, you know, because I I see they have different things. They might have a, They might have an, an option of something that goes along with this that would help. But I know they also have some tools and stuff that uh, clip in and become part of this. So the uh, Dango, the Dango A10 Adapt Wallet. Now we go to the Pro. Um, the Pro Box, and that is always something uh, sharp and or pointy. 
and this month uh, is definitely awesome. It is the Fox Edge Atrix. Box looks something like that. But I have uh, I have to uh, honestly say that I have really been enjoying uh, the knives in this size category, and this uh, this Fox knife is uh, is awesome. VG10 steel, carbon fiber scales. Uh, the the literal literally the weight of this is the blade. I like the uh, orange uh, spacer in it. It is an unassisted flipper, uh, and the it's riding on the ball bearings, and it's uh, very, very easy to deploy. I like that blade style. Uh, some people, uh, there's some knives that are 100% dedicated to just being a flipper, and I know some people don't particularly care for that. Like if uh, you know that becomes a, a, an issue. It's also, you know, set up so that you can get your get your thumb in there. You have some place to get your finger because I have I have some. The blade is completely hidden in the handle, and that is not the case with this guy. I think it is. I think it's an awesome knife. I uh, I really like uh, the knives that are in in this size and style. And if you want to know if it's sharp or not, if I actually had the time to try to balance this and drop a hair on it, it'd probably split it in two. One of one of the sharpest knives out of the box that I have uh, got my hands on. Fox uh, fox fox knives or fox edge knives uh, seem like they're uh, they're pretty pretty well made and designed and. It reminds me, uh, this one is probably going to take the place of what has been my EDC. And uh, that is this guy, which was a battle box item a few months back. And uh, I just thought it was kind of funny that this one has been my EDC. And then this one shows up in their... Uh, practically uh, identical size. The locking mechanisms are definitely different. This one's got uh, this style, which makes it real easy, uh, real easy to uh, deploy and take take it take it and unlock it and put it back in your pocket. But this is if you got if you got this uh, if you uh, got the battle box this month, seventy four uh, April. Uh, you are not going to be disappointed. I, or, or should I say, I, I am definitely not disappointed with the knife this month. Just a fantastic size and design and weight. If you're looking for uh, a well-made but yet light EDC knife, this one will not disappoint. And this has a value of a hundred and ten dollars. Blade is two point seven five. Overall is uh, six point nine, and it weighs uh, three point four ounces. So there you go, guys. This is mission seventy four, April. From Battle Box, and uh, if you uh, if you do Netflix, you might want to check out their show Southern Survival. Uh, you'll probably see a lot of stuff that ends up in a Battle Box being uh, used and reviewed, and uh, and uh, and they try to destroy. It seems like a, a lot of stuff, but uh, overall, I like this month because uh, immediately I know everything is going to get used. Uh, well, even this, I do have a, uh, I do have a, a, a water, uh, a semi-waterproof uh, windbreaker that uh, could use a little extra help. So, questions, comments, please leave them down below. Uh, otherwise, if uh, you want to check out BattleBox, the links will be in the description box. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and the little bell is rung. Thank you guys and cheers.